Hello, I'm Cole Powell, award-winning singer songwriter for Random Mind Records. And if you enjoy what you hear, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell for notifications. All right, now I'll shut up and get to the music. First of all, really long intro. I am a fan of longer intros. A lot of intros are shorter because they're trying to get radio play and hooks. So I really like to have that long intro there to kind of bring you into the song. Mark Knopfler's vocals, he's got a distinctive vocal. He, he reminds me of later Dylan, like Dylan, how Dylan's voice got in the 80s. It, it, but Mark Knopfler, he has that kind of voice. When you hear it, you know... Hey, that's Mark Knopfler, immediately. And I'm going to pull up the lyrics here. I forgot to do that. Okay, start out, I said, These miscovered mountains are a home now for me, but my home is the lowlands and always will be. And I already know that he was talking about the Falkland Wars at this point. Let's get back to it. The organ work here, very nice. Your valleys and your farms, and you'll no longer burn to be brothers in arms. stop it right there for to so I won't get any in trouble with any YouTube algorithm, copyright infringement, all that good stuff. You want more information on that, I've explained how all this works in a couple different videos. But the reason I'm checking this out, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you may remember several months ago I reacted to Home Free, the acapella group Home Free, doing a cover of this. I did not know the song going in. And it just blew me away, and I had a lot of people in the comment section say, you need to go check out the original. It's a totally different vibe, but both the original and the, the Home Free cover are really good, and I agree completely. This is a great song. Not really like the Home Free cover at all, but it is interesting because in that cover, Home Free was vocally emulating this organ sound and trying to make this honing atmosphere, so they kept that part for sure. Yeah, it's a really, really nice song here. Through these fields of destruction Baptisms of fire I've witnessed your suffering As the battle reached high And it's interesting because somebody in the comment section said that, that this is actually like an anti-war kind of a protest song. And he's talking about, he's calling brothers in arms, people on both sides of the conflict, the people in one army and then the other army, they're technically brothers in arms because they're both 
fighting for their countries. They're both in the military. It's, at least that's what my understanding was. Somebody said in the comments, they even post, I think, a quote from Mark Knopfler in there. And their point was they didn't really agree with that. I, I, I see where, where he's coming from in that interpretation. I don't really agree with that either. The, the term brothers in arms is generally meant to signify the people you fight with, not fight against. Although, again, I understand where he's coming from here. But the way it's written, you can still kind of interpret it that he's talking about those comrades that are on the same side, that those, those brothers in arms. He is talking about he is talking about the opposite sides and war, and he says there's so many different worlds, so many different suns, and we have just one world, but we live in different ones, one physical planet, but we're all broken up, compartmentalized, and the human race is not one, and we're always in conflicts. So really good songwriting. <laughs> Great guitar work. right there then we'll get back to it every man has to die but it's written in the stars in every line in your palm we're fools to make war on our brothers and our I mentioned this on the home free video whenever we got this line we're fooled to make war on our brothers in arms. To me, I, I'm taking it that we're fools to have, human beings are fools to be in conflict with, with each other because we're all one people and we're supposed to be in, and should be able to exist in harmony, but that's not the case in reality. And that's when somebody in the comment section said that that's, that's not how he was talking about it. He was talking about it was in a way, but he was also specifically talking about the military, that brothers in arms can be your the combatants on the other side. You're both brothers in arms because you both are fighting. And I get that, but I also feel like, again, you can take these lyrics, you can kind of interpret them multiple ways, which is the mark of good songwriting. They, they can mean different things to different people. Great song. Glad to, that I checked out the original version of that. Appreciate those who encouraged me to do that after I checked out the home free cover. Really good, really good songwriting. Again, 
I, I may not necessarily agree with Mark's interpretation, but the songwriting is so good, you can kind of you can bring out your own interpretation. And also, I do agree with the overall sentiment that war is terrible, regardless of the circumstances. It's a, it's a bad deal, and the fact that people do kill each other in these circumstances it's it's an awful thing and it's not how it's it's meant to be although that is what happened and has happened throughout history in the real world yeah great song i I like the music again totally different vibe from the home free in a way it was a totally different vibe the they still home free still maintained the solemnness of it and kind of that the haunting feel of the song yeah great song i really i should probably get into more dire straits because i do enjoy mark knopfler's voice again he reminds me of dylan i'm a dylan fan i I actually like dylan's vocals i know he gets a lot of hate for that that's who mark knopfler reminds me of is a later dylan great song thanks for watching if this is your first time watching the channel we got a lot more reactions coming up and we will see you next time